Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your uh, daily intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's up for you. What is your overall energy? Oh, the Ten of Cups. We like that. Oh, what's on your mind? The Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. You got happiness on your mind. Wow. What's coming towards you? Holy schmoly, the star. You got a wish that's coming. What's your response to this all? Of course it is. The sun, the happiest card in the deck. Along with the star here, right? Oh my gosh. And what is your advice? Like, you need any advice here? <laughs> Celebrate. Yeah, go and have a drink. Absolutely. Three of Cups. Now, they could be saying reunite, but I'm feeling more celebrate. It could also be dating. We'll see. The Ten of Cups here is the overall energy. So happiness, emotional fulfillment, like really Pisces, what do you got going on here? I don't know what you're doing to manifest, but shit, this is good. What's on your mind is taking a leap of faith. I feel like you're taking a chance on something. I'm feeling moving here. Like, are you moving or thinking about moving because possibly you're taking a leap with somebody romantically speaking and somebody's job is taking them away and you're going with? That's what I'm feeling. Uh, this is all leading to a wish come true here. And it's also helping you heal something from the past. I don't know what it is that you need to heal from the past, but... It's boosting your confidence or will boost your confidence here because your response is the sun. Your response is pure bliss, man. It is emotional vulnerability, being open, right? Mm. And of course, your advice here with the three of cups, celebration, celebrate all this happiness, all this good shit that's coming your way. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Princess of Swords. What else? Of course, the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Pisces. Oh, schmoly. Whatever this is, whatever this wish is, whoever this person is, because there definitely is a person involved here. That's going to make you extremely happy. This is supposed to happen. This is destiny. And by the time this person comes along, you're gonna, you're going to feel very confident. You're going to feel very you. And what's interesting is Pisces, I feel like previously you may have been defensive when it comes to dating, when it comes to Inter interactions with possible people, right? Of the, hmm. But for some reason, when this person comes along, it's like all of your defenses just melt away. It's 
that's what I'm feeling. Like it's like instantaneous, very magical, actually. Like, where did that come from? Right. All this time you've had your walls up, your defenses up. See, queen of pentacles here. Capricorn energy could be Taurus or Virgo. But this is building your world together with somebody. It's also work, right? So like I said, you could be moving. Can I have another one here? Seven of Cups. I feel like with this individual, there are, there's not just one option. I feel like you have many options to choose from. I'm not sure why. I don't know if this person or you have many job offers that can take you to different places or this could also be just thinking about, okay, what do we do now? Because I feel like you'll know pretty quick you want to be together. Okay. How do we logistically figure this out, right? Who's moving where? Are we both going to move somewhere else? What are we doing here? Tell me about this wish and this healing, the star, seven of wands. Huh. Did you wish, five of pentacles, did you wish for your defenses to come down? Did you wish for healing, for feeling left out in the cold, feeling a lack of love? Did you wish for, th for this healing? Two of pentacles. Twin flame card for me in this deck. And there's that moving. Did you wish for somebody to take you away? <laughs> They're saying, Calgon, take me away. <laughs> Old commercial. I feel like And I feel like you forgot about these wishes. It's like you made, I, I feel like you got frustrated with defensiveness, with feeling defensive, feeling paranoid, and I'm even feeling anxiety here. And you were getting frustrated with not being able to release it. Just go already, right? And then this person comes along and poof, it's gone like magic. Your response is the sun. Let's see what the sun is. Leo energy. Your response is bliss. Your response is very chill, happy. Yep. Ace of cups. You've got a lot of self-love going on. You've got, you know, your worth. This person knows your worth. And they just said, oh, that's very sweet. They just said this person is letting you shine. So it's like this person, even though they can shine, they're like, no, you shine. Like they're putting you in the front. Because they like, they, they, I feel that there's enjoyment for them in that. Wow. Okay. Very sweet, Pisces. Okay. What else? Nine of Cups. Another wish card. Wish fulfillment. Ooh, the world card. And the Six of Swords, moving. So you're moving on. You're finding peace. This is peace. This is a new uh, direction. This is a new cycle. Something ending, so something new can begin. Tell me about the Three of Cups for advice here. Three of Swords healing whoa huh. the justice card twin flame energy and the magician so your is your advice i'm feeling is to celebrate the fact that you're healing to celebrate the fact that you found this balance that you've been seeking that you've been wishing for it's like all your wishes are coming true. And it's like, it's this momentum that, that begins and doesn't stop. And you're just like, wow, pinch me. Is this real type thing? 
a, but like literally a dream come true. Whatever your dream is, this is it. This is it. Yep. See? Nine of Wands. And that's what I felt over here. That you, th these defenses with the Seven of Wands. I was feeling the Nine of Wands. And poof, it's gone. The healing. You're manifesting it all. But that's not surprising, Pisces. That's not surprising. You are the masters of manifestation, truly. It's like you rule the 12th house in astrology. So you've been through all of those cycles in the past, like past lives, right? So you've mastered this earthly plane as far as manifesting goes. So that comes very easy to you. Advice. Summer solstice. Radiance. That's you shining. That's them putting you in the forefront and shining. And Gaia, nurturing. So get out into nature and let nature nurture you. Okay? Say that five times. Radiance. You are going to radiate. You are going to shine. You are going to glow. Your happiness is going to glow. So enjoy this, Pisces. All right. I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.